Bumblebrook Forest. The sun is shining, the leaves are rustling in the cold autumn wind, and everyone is settling down for the coming winter. Then again, maybe not everyone. I think I hear something. Oh look, it's Manfred. Hello there. Hi Manfred. What are you up to all alone on this fine morning? Everyone's gone to bed, but I can't sleep. I'm so hungry, and now there's no one to have a snack with. That's why I'm going to make myself pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread? I've never heard of that. You've never had pumpkin bread? It's the most delicious food in the whole world. Mmm, pumpkin bread, fresh out of the oven, all lovely and warm, soft and sweet on the inside, and nice and crispy on the outside. But I'm still missing three things to make it. Do you want to help me look for them? What do you think? Shall we help Manfred find all his ingredients? That's great! OK, let's see. The first ingredient on the list is... a handful of blueberries. Let's see if we can find some. Have a look around. Do you see any blueberries? Let's see. Blueberries, blueberries. Oh, here are some berries. Hmm, but these are red. We need some blueberries. Oh, look, here are some more. No, wait. These berries are purple. Hmm, let's see. Blueberries! We found them! Great work! I'm just going to go mm. grab... Uh, what's going on here? Oh, good morning. How are you? I'm doing splendidly. I was just enjoying some of these lovely little blueberries. Ah, could I perhaps have some? Uh, no. I'm afraid these are my blueberry, and I'm going to eat them all. Right now. Oh. I really kind of need some blueberries for the pumpkin bread I'm going to bake. Um, uh, pumpkin bread? Yes. Lovely, warm and sweet pumpkin bread with a couple of those yummy berries sprinkled on top. Mm. That uh, does sound good. <laughs> mm. And is there any chance I could get a piece of that pumpkiny bread? Uh, <laughs> um, maybe we can make a trade. Oh. If I can have some of those blueberries, I'll give you a piece of my pumpkin bread. All right then, it's a deal. You can have some of my delicious little blueberries now and then I get a piece of that pumpkin bread of yours later. That's great! Put these in my bag. OK, so that's the blueberries sorted. Let's have a look and see what's the next ingredient on the list. One long carrot. Let's see if we can find one. Have a look around again. Do you see any carrots? Ah, look over there. Here's a whole patch of carrots. I only need the one so I can just grab... Ah, who's there? What do you want? Oh, hello there. I'm Manfred. I was just looking for some carrots. Are these yours? Yes, they're mine. And you can't have any. But I only need one. And just look at how many you have. Do you want to help Manfred count all his carrots? One, two, three, four. Four carrots. So if I take one, you'll still have three carrots left. No, 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 no. I need every one of them. Four carrots? But I thought I had five. Where did that other carrot go? Oh no, I only have four carrots. Now I don't have enough food to make it through the winter. Oh no, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Tell you what, if I can have one of your carrots, I'll give you a piece of the pumpkin bread I'm going to bake. Pumpkin bread? I've never heard of that. Oh, pumpkin bread is the best food there is. Fresh out of the oven, lovely and orange on the inside and nice and crunchy on the outside. Fresh out of the oven, lovely and orange, nice and crunchy, that sounds perfect. And a single piece of pumpkin bread is as filling as three carrots. And then I'll have enough food to get me through the winter. All right, I'll give you one carrot and then you'll give me a piece of your pumpkin bread. Great! And hop, another one in the bag. 
Okay, I've got the blueberries and the carrots. And now there's one more ingredient on my list. One large pumpkin. Ha, you can't make pumpkin bread without a pumpkin, of course. Let's see. I think I saw one lying around here somewhere. Do you remember seeing a big pumpkin? It was around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. <coughs> Hello there, little mouse. How are you today? Who are you calling little? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant nothing by it. <coughs> I just... I'm the massive, mighty monster mouse, the king of Bumblebrook Forest. I see. Well then, uh, Mr. Mouse, King, mm -hmm. Your Majesty, hmm. I was wondering if I could perhaps have that large pumpkin. Then you can have that little pumpkin. What? Such a puny pumpkin can't sustain a mouse of my colossal stature. And what do you need my royally sized pumpkin for anyway, you small purple, um, whatever you are? I'm making pumpkin bread. And the last ingredient on my list is one large pumpkin. Pumpkin bread? I've never heard of that. Oh, there's nothing better than a big, warm, crispy piece of pumpkin bread straight out of the oven with bits of carrot and blueberries mm. and, of course, pumpkin. Mm, that does sound a lot better than just this raw pumpkin. Uh, tell you what, you can have my pumpkin, but in exchange I want a piece of that pumpkin bread because I'm such a gracious and good-natured mouse. Great! And I want a big piece. Please? But of course. There. I have all the ingredients on my list. Thanks so much for helping me. Now I can finally go make my pumpkin bread. Oh, but wait. I promised everyone a piece of pumpkin bread. Now there will only be one piece left for me. But you're not alone anymore. Moose, Hare and Mouse have all shared some of their food with you. And now you'll all get to have a lovely warm piece of pumpkin bread together. Hmm. I hadn't looked at it like that. You're right. And so Manfred went home with all his ingredients and started baking. And at the end of the day, with the sun already setting, Manfred came back to the clearing. And together with his newfound friends, he enjoyed a piece of lovely warm pumpkin bread. Delicious.